What's up guys, TV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you how to install Android on a USB. This is a really cool experiment you can do with your laptop or your PC. You can just boot from the USB, either install Android x86 onto your computer, or you could just run it off the USB, and then maybe even take it around to your friend's place, and load all your favorite games and apps on there, and you can play loads of games that are not available on PC. So to get started, firstly you'll need a USB. I'm just using a random 2GB USB that I just found lying around. It has to be at least 2GB to make sure it can accommodate all your apps, your games and also the OS. And then type in Android x86 and then click on download. Then just look for the latest Android x86 version. For me right now it's 4.4 and get the ISO. Then click on view and it will take you to SourceForge. Sometimes SourceForge is really slow because there's a lot of users using it at the same time. So I found a Google Drive link and it worked really fast for me. So if you have a slow internet connection, use this link. It will be down in the description, so please be sure to check it out. While Android x86 is downloading, you just want another tool called Rufus. So just type in Rufus in Google and it should be the first link. Just click on it, scroll down, and you can either get the portable version or you can just get the normal version. I'll just get the portable one and then just click on it and it will download. Once both of these software have been downloaded, just click on Rufus and run it and then choose your USB. Be very careful and choose the right one because if you have like a hard drive plugged in, it will completely format it. So be very careful when choosing it. And then leave these three settings default and then you can change the volume label if you want. Make sure that these three are ticked and this one isn't. Just click on this drive logo over here and it will ask you to choose the ISO. So it will be in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. Just click on it and then press open. Then press start. And then make sure that the first one is selected and press OK. And then now it's just warning you that everything on that drive will be erased. So please make sure that the right drive is selected and then press OK. Now we'll just go through and copy all the files necessary and just wait around 5 minutes. Once Rufus has finished, what you want to do is power off your computer and then go into the boot options. For most PCs, it's usually F8, Enter, Delete, F12 or Escape. So just check for that when your computer boots. Then change the boot drive to your USB and restart your computer. Once you've done all these things, you'll come to a screen like this. Just press the up and down arrows to control the selector. I'll just be selecting Live CD, run Android x86 without installation. If you want, you could install it, but I'll just be running it without installation. Once you've chosen it, just press enter, and then it will boot Android x86. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit five likes on this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.